Today on Wrist Periods and Gear, I show you how to use your Line 6 Helix to change channels on your amp. The Line 6 Helix is a very, very powerful processor, and I like using it with the four cable method with an amplifier and using it to switch channels on the amp, but also using the Helix for the effects into the amp. Now, if you haven't already watched the four cable method video that I posted a few weeks ago, definitely uh, go and do that now because we are going to uh, be talking about a lot of things that were established in that video. So I will link down below in the description for that, but otherwise, let's continue. In this video, I will be showing you how to use MIDI to channel switch your amp while changing snapshots uh, with your Line 6 Helix so you can get different effects in different scenes, or as Line 6 now calls it, snapshots, and using uh, your uh, rig to its full potential. For this video, I am using a Mesa Boogie John Petrucci JP2C amplifier that has built-in MIDI. I am hooked up to my uh, Line 6 Helix with the four cable method with the addition of a MIDI cable going from the Helix into the back of the JP2C. Now, all of the things I will show you in this video can be done on the front panel of the Helix, but for filming ease and general talking purposes, I will be using the Helix Control desktop software, and I am hooked up to the Helix via USB, in addition to the Helix foot controller is hooked up via ethernet cable to the Helix physically. So you'll see me switch channels and I'll explain that in just a second, but that is the overall setup that we're dealing with today. So first, let's talk about snapshots. Think of snapshots as things that are engaged at any one time on your actual physical pedal board. You are loading in all of the effects, but you are engaging and turning certain things on and off and then saving that as a snapshot. This is a way to preload the DSP processing power and have no lag while switching between various effects, modes, and functions. Now, each snapshot, you are allowed to save and shoot a different uh, MIDI program change number, and that is what will physically be switching the channels on the amplifier. So here is my patch visualized in the control software. Now, to explain how I have my controller set up, I have it set up thusly. I have my dry tones on the bottom row, and I have the wet tones on the top. So I have channel one for clean, then I have the loop engaged and I have a delay uh, for the clean sound above it. Then I have crunch, which I want to be channel two. Above that, I have the loop engaged for a delayed crunch above that, so on and so forth. So I have crunch, or I have clean, clean delay, crunch, crunch delay, chug, chug delay. And then the last two uh, presets, uh, snapshots, seven and eight, vary uh, from patch to patch. But those first six are always the same no matter what patch I am using. Now. So I have my controller set up like each patch is a song. So once a song is done, I will then bank up and the song will change and some of the snapshots will change, but those core six that I just went over are always gonna be the same no matter what. So here is my patch. This is for the Rest Repose song called Polaris. Uh, I have my clean patch engaged and down here in the bottom right hand corner, I'm gonna go to Command Center. Now, this is where all of the business happens. The command center is what will allow me to physically change the state of the amplifier in conjunction with the snapshot. So, I will go to this little lightning bolt. This is an instant switch. Now, I can make this do a number of things, but you can think of the instant switch as sending various electronic controls. And we are going to be using this to send a MIDI change to the amplifier. So I have my instant switch selected, and in that I have bank slash prog selected. Now this is not 
Prague, as in Dream Theater, John Petrucci Prague. This is program, bank slash program selected, not MIDI CC, not MMC or extension out or CV out, bank slash Prague. Now, if you look down below, it'll automatically say base uh, for the MIDI channel, which is okay. We, in, in this particular case, we don't really care about that. Bank and uh, bank CC32 are both off. We don't really care about that because I know that the Mesa Boogie amp responds to program control changes. Um, program control changes will change the physical state of the amplifier. For example, what channel to switch and what EQ is engaged or if the reverb is engaged. If it's a physical uh, switch of foot switchable feature on the amp, it can be changed via MIDI uh, that is built into the amplifier already. So with MIDI, when you select a snapshot, the Helix will shoot or send a momentary program change code to the amplifier. Now, I for ease of programming, I like to assign each snapshot its own program change, okay? So, follow me. Program change number one, I'm going to save for my clean. It's saved. Now, going back to my foot controller, I look at my layout on my foot controller like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm not really concerned about how the snapshots themselves are numbered because if I were to go by that, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, but that's okay. So I want my clean patch one, I'm gonna to refer to it as patch one, is my clean channel. Now I'm gonna to go to my clean delay and I'm gonna hit the foot switch physically and you'll notice that my program change um, has changed with the snapshot. So I'm on snapshot five. This is program change, it's shooting program change number two. Now I'm going to go to my crunch channel, my snapshot number two and I want that to be three, okay? Now it can be any number, the number is arbitrary. Crunch delay, I want it to be four, it is four. Chug, I want to be five. And my chug delay, I want to be six, okay? So when I go and hit clean, it's going to shoot program change number one to the amp. I'm gonna hit clean. I am now back to my clean patch, which is program change number one. Now, physically on the amplifier, it's on the lead channel. Obviously that's not correct. So I'm going to physically flip the switches that I need to get it to channel one. So I'm gonna be on, I'm now on channel one with EQ1 engaged because on channel one of the amp, Within it, I have it uh, set to engage EQ number one. I do not want the loop engaged because this is just a regular dry clean. Now that I have that, I'm going to reach back into my amplifier on the switch on the corner and I'm going to hit store, okay? Now, like I said, the MIDI channel uh, and the MIDI, the program change code will only shoot once we hit the foot switch. So I'm gonna switch to channel two just to switch it, because we're gonna see if it took. And I'm gonna go back to clean my clean channel, and it is now on the clean channel, okay? So we're kind of working backwards a little bit in that we programmed the PC numbers in the controller, in the Helix, and now we are going back and we are setting the amp as we want it to be within that snapshot and saving the state of the amp. So now when we go and program the Helix, um, the amp will be at its proper setting, okay? So let's do another one. Clean delay. Uh, now let's go, let's go something a little different. We're gonna go crunch, okay? So now I want my crunch tone. In this particular case, I want it to be channel two. Now, right now it's on channel three, so I'm going to select channel two 
and I see that the second EQ is engaged, that is correct, I am now going to save, I'm gonna reach back behind and store. There's a little store switch for MIDI in the back of the amplifier. Now, I'm gonna turn my attention to the Helix and I can either disengage this boost going into the front end because we're hooked up via four cable method. I can now, per snapshot, I can disengage the boost. I can, I could select the loop if I wanted to, but I would simply just save the patch. So I'm gonna save it. It's gonna take a second to save. Now I'm gonna go back to my clean channel and you'll see I have switched the amplifier, and now I'm gonna to go to clean delay. Let's program the clean delay. Now this is program change number two. I just selected my clean delay uh, foot switch on my controller. It shot and sent program change number two to the amplifier. Now let's see what that is and what the amp is doing. So that is on channel three. Now I want it to be on channel one, but with the loop engaged. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, physically change the amplifier. Now the EQ is on, but the loop is off, but I want it on because this is my, my, my wet tone. So now I have the loop engaged. And within my loop on the Helix, I'm gonna go back to my patch. I want a little delay. So right now I have a, we're gonna switch back over to home and I'm gonna select this delay and I have a sweep echo. And I have a little bit, bit of reverb and I've disengaged the other delay, which I use for something else, but it's loaded, but it's disengaged. So I'm not hearing it. And so now I'm going to go ahead and hit store in the amplifier, okay? So now, when I hit my crunch tone, let's go back to channel two. I'm, I'm on the foot switch. I just switched the channel of the amplifier. I disengaged the delays in the loop and I don't have any boost going on. But if I wanna go back to a delay clean, I'm just gonna simply hit the delay clean on my controller and now I have a delay in the loop. The loop is engaged physically on the amplifier and I now went from a dirty tone straight to a clean delayed tone with just one tap of the foot switch using program change numbers and MIDI with the Line 6 Helix. All right, let's go back to the clean tone, the bass clean tone. Now physically that has switched off the loop. Now I can leave the delay on within the Helix. That's okay because I physically have the loop turned off on the amp. That's really a personal decision. If you wanna save processing power, if you have something else going, and this is a simplified setup, but this gives you a good idea on how to control any MIDI device, not necessarily just your amplifier, using the instant, uh, the instant commands uh, using MIDI and the program changes. So now we're going to listen to some quick sound samples. I hope you guys have found that educational and helpful to your own setup. The Line 6 Helix can do a lot of things very, very well, and the switches are instantaneous, and the snapshot layout is just so, so useful 
for uh, gigging and things like that. I'll pick up the links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.